Well, it is 7.24 right now, so that means we have roughly 45 minutes till we need to be cutting. Hopefully today I can fuel and grease and maybe fix my roast sense today. I've been needing to do that for a couple of days now, which I keep on forgetting when I do have time, and then I always want to do it when I don't have time, so it seems to be a reoccurring event. At least the sunrise is cool this morning, though. Dibs is pressed because I'm not throwing his frisbee this morning, but I'm in a hurry. You gotta play by yourself. I don't think I've ever slung mud on my windshield of the combine. I did have to put the combine in four wheel drive to do the turn rows again. The pivot tracks are still full of water um, and evidently it's a little soupy. So it also didn't help that I had, you know, 22,000 pounds in my bin. So one of the trucks had a air leak on it, so they're going to fix that. Um, so we're only running one truck right now. So with running one truck and doing 3,000 bushels an hour, why does my auger halfway swing out? Like I haven't touched the button, I just hit the button, and it does this. Why is it, like watch, I can keep on putting it out. It just stops. 
I don't know why it does that. It does it every now and then. But anyways, with one truck and 3,000 bushels an hour, that one truck can't haul off three loads every hour. That's like once every 20 minutes. So the pivot center is right there and it's kind of angled this way across the rows. So I cut all the way up to the edge of it and it's still currently moving. The pivot moves super slow, so it's gonna take a while. So rather than just sitting there waiting for it to move, um, I went on this side of the pivot center, which is the north side. Um, and then I'm gonna blow a hole this way, which we are on extremely long rows. So I blew a hole right here. Well, this is gonna go all the way to here. So I used to be doing rows from here to here, um, and I would be 90% full when I got to the end. What I'm trying to say is I'm probably gonna get to here, um, and then I'll have to cut out a spot for the grain cart to dump me, and then I'll have to drive the rest of the way. But a yield map is pretty cool. Uh, you can see a yellow line going through here. That's actually where the pivot swing auger tracks are. Uh, you can't really tell where the actual pivot tires are. It doesn't really affect the yield that much. Well, I am at 92% full. So that's where I was cutting. I'm going to back up enough where I can cut this way where the grain cart can come parked beside me um, and then I'll dump off into him. The reason why I stop at 92 or 90, somewhere in there, well, if I'm 100% full, well, I have no more capacity to get over and cut a spot for the grain cart. So you kind of have to leave yourself enough room. But you also have to put enough room on your bin to make it all the way through, you know, without just doing it twice. So if I went through there and I dumped at 60% and then I went through, um, I wouldn't make it all the way to the end because I need two, you know, 90% bin fulls, if that makes sense. If I did dump at 60%, um, I'd have to dump three times in one pass, and who wants to do that? So here's kind of what I'm talking about. I cut to the left. Some of y'all might ask, hey, then why don't you cut to the right? Uh, I cut to the left, that way the grain cart can come through here, and I'm already back on my rows. So I just dumped on the grain carts, and now I'm back going again. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It's starting to sprinkle. Well, so far, the rain has just messed up my windows. And it's starting to stick to the extensions. But moisture-wise, we're still 15% moisture. Uh, it's feeding nicely. And so far, what I can see out of the cab is getting it off the cob, so we're gonna keep on rolling. Water is dripping off of my cab, and these snoots are, they're also dripping. One good thing about corn is you can basically cut in the rain. Okay, well not actually in the rain, but it's sort of misting slash sprinkling, um, and we're still going just fine. Now, if you tried that in soybeans, so I've heard, that is a train wreck. Evidently your header starts pushing and all of that. So at least we're doing corn and not soybeans. If we were doing soybeans, we would probably already be done an hour ago. As you can see, it's a little blue that direction. That side is not so bad, if you could even see past the dirty windows. But this is headed straight for us. Rain is coming straight towards us, so it'll probably be here in, I don't know, probably 20 to 30 minutes or so, I would have to guess. The farmer called me and he wants to quit at the end, which is perfectly fine with me. But when I get to the end, I'm going to dump in the grain cart and then maybe clean up my feeder house. 
as you can see it uh well it needs some attention RV park lady just called mom and told her where the storm shelter is because we are under a tornado watch. It's not a warning, so there's not an active tornado, but there is a pretty high possibility of there being a tornado. Dad also said that corn is very acidic and it'll eat the paint off if you don't blow it off um, and then it rains on it. So I'm going to grab the leaf blower out of the farmer's pickup and we're going to blow off the combine. All right, well, I blew the combine off. Dibs doesn't know where to go. There's no need of cleaning my windows because that's just gonna get even more nasty. Well, that doesn't look very good. 